How's it going, everyone? This is Vaughn, Mirji Comedy Thomas, and welcome back to To The Moon. Uh, so, it's been a bit since I last played, um, so I'm not totally too sure. I don't exactly remember much, to be honest. Uh, but we're gonna go jump back in. I'm pretty sure we're pretty close. I think we got like maybe another hour or two, but we're we'll gonna jump right into it. I don't know if this guy's a little loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. All right, so yeah, we came in the room. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, let's see. What happened? I'm pretty sure we're in Act Two, but I'm not too sure. Do you think this little thing is causing us so much trouble? I just want to kick it out to outer space. I suppose all we can do now is spin the signal or spin uh, send the signal and hope. Well, ready? How is uh, Johnny's health? I can't see right now. Something is happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. I don't know if she's a female or male. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory. No. What are you talking about? If the system is not restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whatever you just said. You gotta be kidding me. Why aren't you getting out there? I can't, Neil. If both was get if if both was get under to stay, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny. Oh, you freaking! Don't pull that uh, contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie. You're no hero. You're just a just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that! If you're gone, then we'll probably pair me out with Alistar. Do you know how bad the heat smells? Worse than the roadkill. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat for the entrance exams. Doctor? Definitely female. I think we're okay for now. So the memory's still damaged in this part. So we're back to where we began. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. Wait a minute. Yeah, and at the last Christmas party you... Oh. Come on, let's go before this happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you moron, right? You know that I did, right? Alright, let me see. Uh, so he's in a critical state right now. Uh, so we are basically... Let me see what we got. Nothing too... So he's definitely in a critical state. Okay. Let's see what we got. I, mean, I might need to touch the soccer ball again. So it's already still damaged. Uh, so we still need, does it look like we need to repair the shit again. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Here goes nothing. Okay. So are we back to the main world now? Or what's happening? Oh, sweet. I guess we're back here now. Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Deal. Did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? 
Uh, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I... I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. Alright, so Johnny and his mother. Johnny's interactions is what this all this stuff is. Sorry about the background noise. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You gotta take the you gotta take the one there. Or they gotta take them there one day. So this is the other side of the stuff. So we're still... Sheesh! The time's overflow is getting out of hand. Look at how many of them there are there. It's like a zoo. Mm-hmm. Chase him now, Rosaline. Quickly! Get it! Get the good soccer ball! Ha! Looks like the ball's moving around on its own. He's just chasing it. Is that all you wanted to say? Is that really all you wanted to say? Okay. Alright, Neil. Roadkill again? Probably. All thanks to this little fella's sacrifice. I hope. Oh yeah, because uh, they had to get roadkill that want the memory for it. I don't exactly remember what the memory was. It's been it's been a week, uh, but <laughs> they only need a strong stimulus in order to unlock this part of the memory. Oh jeez, look at the time. I better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Excuse me. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place. It's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit, duh. We need to go back now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. Getting hit by a car? I certainly hope not. The life isn't hit by a car. Hang on. <sighs> Shit, dude. Well, that explains the surgery, but damn. I'm surprised you survived. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm not surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. What? Didn't you see in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey? Joey, can you hear me? Joey? Why'd you hit Joey, Ma? Why'd you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey! Wake up! That's tragic. Oh my gosh. Joey. Even though they were young. To lose a twin brother. Not to mention how their mother must feel. That's huge. That's fucked. Oh, I feel so bad for the mom. Ooh, she must be heartbroken. 
At least Shawnee had the better, the beta blockers race the memories. Not like your numbers that much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least, I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Okay, so... The mom cut her son. Trying to rush to the store. So kind of make her went insane, basically. It's now the twin son takes his brother. That's tragic, dude. That really is tragic. No, Joey. It seemed like this wasn't the only memory I'm leaked. Odd. He's not putting up a berry anymore. Don't jinx it. That's tragic. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I already plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Animorphs. It's about this group of kids turning to animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Meh, I don't like the weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Ugh. Instead of going to boring school, they get turned into tigers and mall big bad aliens. They're all like, raw, 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 raw. And they, and then they pick up lasers. And it's all pew, 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 pew. Stop that. <laughs> Just watch, Shawnee. One day, I'm going to be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich, and buy us both of you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you can give away the books for free? Free for the kids, the parents will have to pay, of course. Yeah, I'm smart. Yeah, I'm sure the parents would be thrilled to give you money. Well, you still mad about the other day? Oh, come on. I called first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize anyways? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. <laughs> you know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter and the time we went fishing in? Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? Listen, Johnny. What difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right? I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. Like a part of me. Boy. Let's go confess. Let's go accuse the neighbors. Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain. Come on. Receive no anymore. Damn, dude. Oof. Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand there? Oh, man. How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Oh, you ruined it! 
The instrument is definitely nice, man. Fruits! Fresh fruits! Apples, oranges, tomatoes, we got it all! Wait a minute, tomatoes aren't fruits, technically they are. Uh, yeah they are. They are the ovaries of plants and contain seeds, that's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes? Never even refer to them as fruits. We, who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? So I must take cooking very seriously. But I don't want the stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. No, no, John. Don't make a scene. Joey won it fair and square, didn't he? But I won too. You just went first. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let you play it for two. See how nice your brother is, Johnny. Okay, you dumplings. Don't block the stand now. Oh, come on. Let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. You know what? I'm gonna call you dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. Hey, is that a whack-a-mole? whack a what? Whack-a-mole. You take a mole and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. It's how people blow up steam before FPS was invented. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? It's everything in the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes! Uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I might go with this shit, we'll see. Alright, let's give it a test. Here we go! Um, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Shit. Woo! Fuck! <laughs> how many how many times I do this? Oh gosh! No! Damn it! Let's see now. Out of 45 target periods, you suck 49 times and made 44 successful hits. That's a 97 percent hit rate. It's your new record. Oh, I won. Cool. <laughs> Ah, yes. Fortune's wonder ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one a doctor. Oh my. Come on, I'm giving both of you treats. Hey, hey where's my tip? <laughs> it's been a while since I played Whack-A-Mole in the like, Fortune Machines. You guys never like a like, like, uh, sketchy warehouse and whatnot, and the little Fortune always have there. It's be one of my favorite things doing it. Ricard, three bars memory, links to proceed. Where the hell did they go? I guess I probably just missed them. Hang on. I'm assuming they went down this way. Maybe? No, they did not. Okay, hang on. Where they at, though? Okay, so I need to find him again. Hang on. Are they by the barbecue stand? You would think they'd be here, but they're not. No way, I ain't talking to her. Good or bad, I'd be screwed either way. Uh, this guy here. Welcome and behold the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can you ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. Looks like someone just glued some chairs to the water wheel. Don't know. Don't care. All right, now I can move. All right. Which is simple and obvious in mechanism. All right. What do we got? Oh, there they are. Mmm, mmm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you say the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. 
No, I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you like it. Yeah! I'm done, though. Can I go play? Okay, but we only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave the bag and I'll keep it for you here. No, it's mine. I want it. So this is where the pick of olives started. Okay. I guess we should go to Joey first and we'll go from there. Playground. Five? Motherfucker. Okay, I need to go over here then. Right? Huh. Let's see. Uh, Joey's over here. Interesting. Is he gonna walk across it? I hope not. That's dangerous, guy. Way to follow mom's orders, huh? He's not going too far in the woods. He's going by himself. What are you doing, guy? John, what the hell are you doing, bud? John! What are you doing? Wow. Okay, I bet they have a really pretty sight. Well, okay, so you wandered out the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, you could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah. There was a hill outside the city. Oh, there's a hill outside the city that we stay at. The same one every year. We watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and had a telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I actually slept. So, in conclusion, this is the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. All these nice memories, lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it a moment from moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I told you, Pegatech is up here. What's happening? Oh! This is where you met River. Oh, dude. Hello! Wait, don't go! I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you wanna join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you?
<laughs> That's nice. Is that the end of the game? <laughs> Just look at him. Did you know there was so many lights in the sky? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then? Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. What's wrong with that? Huh? Hmm? What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are, anyways? My dad said that they're giant burning spears of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, use of money, kangaroo, stuff like that. Have you ever made a Easter bunny under the stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, of other things, never try to wrap it, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah. We'll make the best constellation ever. Let's see who makes one out first. So that's sort of the start of the uh, rabbit started. Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and I see it. Uh, where? In the sky. Um, but where in the sky? Think big. Uh. Bigger than all the other are bigger than all the others. I don't know. The moon. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. There, right? They're two years in ahead. What else? And there, there's just two feet. Yes, what else? And and the moon. The moon is the big round belly. So that's the origin the bunnies came from. He had no memories of it, but there's the memories. So, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses suck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there and they want to talk to them. But they can't, because they're all too far apart to hear what others are saying. All they can do is shine their light from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses, and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. Which be on your... The bag. What that bag? What's in it? Oh! It's the prize of one from whack -a -Mole. Did you get to play the game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a... Thing. I don't really know what it is.
It's some kind of weird duck beaver thing. Oh, may I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! Ick, that's my common. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yep, yeah. and I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. <laughs> Will you be here next year? Yep. Will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny! Coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hanky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. If they ever get lost. Wait, does that mean. Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was gonna be an inspiration childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl will come along and turn into Cheese Fest. I suppose now you know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you weren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we are contracted to do. Damn it, Eva, wait! Ava. So I made the final episode, man. Uh oh. I know you are in here. Note the moon. All right. Well. This game is running on a little bit long as video, I should say, so I'm going to end this one here for now. Uh, I'll go ahead and finish off another video, but hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm assuming next video we are going to come to the end of this game, uh, but if not, then I'll see you. We'll do another video. Well, till then, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.